a figure that I've come to want to get since I started reading the More Than Meets the Eye series, thanks to fellow uh, Regic... The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Kato again with another third party Transformers review. Today we're going to take a look at Mastermind Creations R27 reformatted Calidus. It's their version of a Rodimus from more than meets the eye of the IDW series. Uh, a character that I definitely wanted to get since my fellow Rejecticon and friend Sardo News by 82 has gotten me addicted into reading the series. So I really wanted to pick this character up. Found it online. I think TF Source had it. And couldn't wait to get it uh, on the table and show you guys all about it. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you again for everyone who has already subscribed. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that sub button, smash that notification bell, let you know I have more content coming. And with all that being said, we're going to roll the intro and take a look at Mastermind Creations R27 Calidus, their version of a more than meets the eye Rodimus. It's Kato! Since I picked the figure up used off TF Source, I don't have a box, so we won't be looking at that, but we will look right at the accessories. Uh, you get some pretty pretty cool accessories. Uh, number one, you get his little rifle or handgun here. Pretty simple molded. Nothing super detailed, but it definitely gets that comic point across as well as enough of a resemblance to his G1 counterpart. Now this is the gun from the reissue from Walmart. So you can see definitely some resemblance there. And you get his little energy bow that he uses in the comic. It does fold up, it can store on his back. And I'll show you that in robot mode as well. And of course, he can hold that fairly easily. It also connects to the vehicle mode, which I'm never quite sure if I like the way it looks on there or not, but I'll show you that as well. So, see that orange paint there, silver tips. Really looks good. And that's really it for the accessories. And as you can see, he holds them just fine. The bow will slip into the hand and just close the palms up, and the rifle handgun just slides right into his hand and he also has these pegs here on the back or these holes on the back where the bow can slip in there now as we start to take a look at the figure itself one thing you'll notice is the autobot logo again since i bought it used it already had one on there i'm probably going to take that off and put one of my own i don't really like these it just doesn't feel good on there so i'll probably replace that but getting a look at that head right here you can see it looks well enough with those blue eyes and those sharp features like the more than meets the eye version of the character. Going down the chest you get the familiar IDW chest. A lot of sharp features on here. Looks a lot like the artwork from the comic itself. Down to the legs you can see the silver paint, silver uh, paint on the exhaust what will be the exhaust wheels here coming down very traditional hot rod rodimus looking sculpt you absolutely can't miss who the character is so a quick little 360 of him lots of great detail not a whole lot of paint but again i don't know that you need a lot of paint on this i'm fine with plastic for a quick size comparison, there he is with MP10. I think that scales pretty well. And there he is with Walmart reissue G1 Hot Rod. Here he is with Hot Rod from 3-pack. I cannot remember the name of the 3-pack, but it was the one that came with Hot Rod, Retgar, and another Junkion. And Poptimus. Now let's go through the articulation. Uh, pretty straightforward. The head will go up it's really hard to see because of all the junk in the way but it will go up 
that far down, not very far at all. So just right there, a little bit of wobble. We'll do a full 360, even though he wants to get in his own way a little bit. So, but it will turn pretty much anywhere you need it to go. His arms will go up that far. They will not do a full 360 because of the wings in the back, but there's still plenty of room to move there for what you want to do, I believe. You get two separate points of rotation at the elbow. You get one here that won't go all the way around, and then of course you get uh, a, below the elbow, you get a full 360, as well as uh, rotation on this. This hand is in a ball joint, so it will go full 360 and a little bit of wobble to it and his fingers are on a single pin with the index finger separated so you can do that you got typewriter fingers there but it will open up and close and the weapons just slide in so there's no it just slides in old school the waist will essentially do a full 360 but moreover you're going to get complete left to right because of the cockpit getting in the way. The legs will go out that far on nice soft ratchets, up that far, back that far, plenty of knee bend just over 90 degrees. You get a cut at the upper thigh to do 360 at the thigh. And the foot is on a little hinge here so you can get a little bit of side to side and some up and down as well as that heel spur in the back. Now, one thing I wish it had, so it's got really soft ratchets here at the legs while we're on articulation. But if you see, there is the base setting straight, right? One click is out that far. If you do that to both legs, he's always going to have a wide A stance. So there, I wish there was maybe a half a click to get him just a bit more of a shallow A stance. But it wants to go full on. So I do wish that there was kind of a half step between here and here. Now in his alt mode, definitely another great uh, throwback to the original and all the colors and shape. I think it does a good job of getting that across. It's not perfect. And I'll go through why I don't think it's perfect, but it's still damn good. Uh, you can see the weapons peg here at the top, and I'll go ahead and take that out for now. And then the bow to complete the look, you can see, comes through the front there, just so you can see what I mean. I kind of, let me try not to screw anything up in the transformation getting this out. I kind of prefer it without it. I think it looks cooler and sleeker. I don't like the way the bow sticks out across the side here. Uh, and as far as the transformation, it's fun. Um, once you do it once, you can do it again, no problem. Uh, wheels are plastic, not rubber. But it, the joints don't... I, I like when things cinch up really well, and sometimes this, this doesn't want to. It doesn't want to close all the gaps. But that's okay, I don't keep them in alt mode anyway. But here's a look at him in that alt mode. Wonderful colors. Again, I'll take that Autobot logo off shortly, just for my own sake. But nice, sleek looking design. Really, I really like it. I like it a lot, actually. Not just a little, I like it a lot. You can see pretty much all the robot parts where they end up in vehicle mode. Underneath, eh, you can see his legs, but most of the robot mode hides pretty well. Again, all that great color, the exhaust, the spikes on the exhaust tips here. Um, I do find it easier to transform if you just remove the fins, but that's just me. Uh, fun transformation, you know, pretty straightforward once you do it once. A little quirky in the waist area because it has to spin around. I may do a transformation video on this. Uh, the one I did earlier, people tend to like that, so I may do that again here have a separate video for transformation. But all in all, really great looking alt mode. There he is with Magic Square's Light of Freedom, MP scaled 
uh, Optimus. G1 reissue hot rod from Walmart. Again, they do such a good job of keeping that main color scheme alive here, but giving him this new sharper uh, updated look. I really enjoy this. And Poptimus. Final thoughts on Mastermind Creations R27 Calidus, their version of More Than Meets the Eye, IDW Rodimus. Um, on the shelf, outstanding. I love the way he looks on the shelf. He has such a good presence about him. He is a really good representation of the character from the comic. So all in all, he fits the bill exactly what they were trying to get across. Uh, issues I have with it, sometimes it doesn't want to quite put itself together well enough in vehicle mode. For me, not a big deal. I don't keep it in vehicle mode. Articulation, there's plenty of it, but sometimes the articulation is a little misplaced. Uh, I'd like to, to have seen more of a swivel in the ankles, and I would have liked to have seen a little bit uh, shorter distance between some of the ratchets in the leg so you can get a few more different stances. But overall, arm articulation, everything is spot on. So it's all nitpicky stuff, uh, but uh, I think he looks exactly like I want him to look coming from the comic. I think he fits the bill perfectly. Uh, the bow, nice touch, eh, iffy on how it goes underneath the vehicle mode, but that's pretty much just my opinion, right? I mean, someone could love it as much as I don't care for it, so it's really subjective. Um, really great figure, a lot of fun to transform. It's, it's a unique transformation, pretty simple, but does everything it needs to do without overcomplicating itself. Uh, accessories, minimal but necessary and nothing over the top. So yeah, I think it's a fantastic figure. I was really excited to get it and after doing the review, I'm still excited to have it. So yeah, if you can find it and you're interested in this uh, uh, more than meets the eye look, I recommend it. Uh, all in all, again, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you spending your time uh, checking out all the useless things I have to say. Um, check out the other Rejecticons, uh, Sarda News by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inu Tabi. They're all in the description below. I have their links posted. Uh, as always, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut. It's Kato.